Hello, I'm Dr. Ala Kammerdiner and welcome to Discrete Event Simulation course. This is lecture one, Introduction. I will talk about individual and teamwork in this course and also the simulation course syllabus, schedule and policies. Again, I'm Dr. Ala Kammerdiner, your instructor in this class. Last name is pronounced Kammerdiner. My office hours in fall 2014 are on Tuesdays from 8 to 9.30 a.m. and by appointment. My office in the Engineering Complex Building 3, room 286. Uh, you can reach me um, via email ALA at nmsu.edu. Please put subject line IE467. My office phone is 575. 646-2475 again 575-646-2475 so you can see that I uh, received my PhD from the University of Florida I'm interested in team-based learning and service learning and I offer undergraduate research projects it's important that you remember not to use cell phones, texting, or instant messaging in class. Some little bit of personal information. My favorite dog breed is Golden Retriever. My favorite food is fruit and chocolate. And the day of the week is Saturday. Let's do a little icebreaker called Simon Says. We will all play a game, Simon Says. I will say, Simon says everyone who likes chocolate jump up. And those in class that do should jump up. But if I say, Allah says everyone who likes golden retrievers clap your hands, then you don't need to do that at all. Great, let's play. Simon says all stand up together in one line. Go ahead, get up and form a line. Take your time. Simon says, everyone move around so that the people with whom you have the most association, for example, best friends, stay as close to you as possible, for example, right next to you. Go ahead, move around.
Simon says, all those enrolled in IE 567 move to the start of the line. Go ahead, move to the start of the line. Take your time. Alice says, all who took IE467-567 before, jump up. Oh, no, you don't need to jump up. Simon says, if you like programming and computer science, please cross your legs and say Arena. Alice says, all who lives on campus, please say, go Aggies. Simon says, everyone say, simulation rocks. Simon says, count to five. For example, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. And so on. And remember, or better write down, your count number. So each person at this point should have their own count number. Go ahead, do that, starting with the first person. Great. Simon says, everyone group together with others who have the same count. Go ahead and do that. Great. Simon says, write your names in a list on the piece of paper and title the list team number and whatever is your count number. Go ahead and do that. Thanks. Now, I will tell you a little more about syllabus. In the course, we will use two textbooks. An ARENA textbook, here, and an analysis textbook, here. Make sure to check Canvas, which has updates to the syllabus. We will have multiple uh, type of activities in the course many of which will be graded, including three exams and uh, 10 labs. Remember that there's no cell phones um, during the exams as well as some other 
activities such as quizzes. The exams are typically going to be multiple choice questions, then followed by arena modeling, and all exams must be taken in class. Please check syllabus for the exam dates. And remember that they are tentative and there might be some changes. So overall, we're going to have um, 10 labs, but it might be 9 labs based on the time availability. These 9 labs are required labs, and they're listed here. So we will have lab 0, lab 1, lab 2, labs 3A and 3B, lab 4, and labs 5A, 5B, and 5C. There might be a bonus lab, lab 6, if the time permits. We will also have quizzes. Again, there is no cell phones during the quizzes, and they must be taken in class only. The quizzes will have two parts, individual part and a team part. And finally, there will be a team project, and you can use your cell phones on the team projects. They actually might be useful in terms of being able to contact your teammates. So a team project will actually include three midterm team report submissions and they are one to two pages updates and they must include participation statistics and then the final team project report will include PowerPoint slides, report, data, arena model and all this information is posted on Canvas, so you need to check Canvas for more information regarding the team project and the reports. And now about the grading. This will be out of 100% before bonus. So three exams altogether, 30%, and they are completely individual assignments. We also will have nine labs, total 10, but the last is a bonus, so it doesn't count towards that 100%. So the labs that count towards the um, 100%, the nine labs that were listed previously, they will give you 25% of your grade, and the bonus lab will give an additional 5%. And again, we will have the bonus lab only if time permits. We'll have eight quizzes. Altogether, they'll give you 15%, 9% will come from individual quizzes, and 6% will come from the team quizzes. And the team project, um, which is 30% of the grade. See schedule and Canvas syllabus for the information about deadlines, tentative exam dates, quiz dates, team presentation date. It's important to read to do the reading before each lecture. This will help you follow and participate better. Let's discuss some policies. You can email me at ALA at NMSU.edu with subject line that begins with IE467. The disputes must be addressed within one week after the graded work is returned or grade is assigned, whichever is earlier. Please submit everything through Canvas. If you have problems with submission, email the TA. The policies are strictly enforced, uh, so make sure that you know the syllabus and follow the deadlines. Also, there is absolutely no cell phones, texting, IMing, or web surfing in class. Participation in teamwork is important. Absolutely no teamwork on exams, though. If you require accommodations due to disability, please kindly let me know before September. We, have, we will have a teaching assistant in this class. Please see more information on Canvas. Please read it carefully and remember the syllabus, the schedule, and also the deadlines or tentative dates for the assignments. Make sure to carefully read announcements canvas. Now you can begin pre-assessment before lecture one. The pre-assessment is done 
in class via Canvas, you will complete Lab 0 after Lecture 1. It will be done in class, but you can also redo it again at home via Canvas. And it has two parts. One part is a problem and also includes the questions regarding types of simulations. That's why it should be done after Lecture 1, because that's the material covered in Lecture 1. Thank you.